couple of guys. I wanted to talk with you about Julian Assange and the extradition he's facing to the United States. Julian Assange uh, is this close to uh, being extradited to the United States, where he faces 175 years in prison. Uh, and it's looking like... Uh, so he's, being, he's facing 17 different counts of espionage and I think one account, one count of computer mishandling or something, whatever that means. But these are federal charges and he's being, despite him not being an American citizen, never has been. This is an Australian journalist, uh, Julian Assange, who has been living in exile, living in, he spent seven years in the Ecuadorian embassy in, in London and he's spent since 2019, he's been in the uh, British uh, Belmarsh prison. That's a Belmarsh prison. That's a, it's like a maximum security prison in uh, London. So yeah, he's, he spent basically his entire life since 2010 on the run. Uh, and so let me just kind of break down the timeline of what's kind of gone on that led him to this point where he's facing extradition. So naturally, he's been uh, he's been being threatened by the United States uh, for, for for over a decade now, but within the last year, things started to develop uh, that had not gone in his favor. So at some point, he was the, a low a lower court uh, refused extradition to the United States because this lower court in England claimed that. Julian Assange couldn't be held in America because our prison system would be too harsh for him and that he would become a threat to his own life, that his own, uh, that his own uh, physical condition, that it would be a harm to himself, uh, that he could become a harm to himself at, uh, under harsh conditions and that uh, he wouldn't be treated humanely in the United States which is very possible, uh, uh, very likely that he wouldn't be treated humanely, that we would torture him or do whatever. I mean, it's, it, it, I mean, uh, it sounds horrifying, but it's, but it's true. They did the same thing to Chelsea Manning, who was Bradley Manning. Uh, I believe he was, he was tortured under Obama. So, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, oh, okay, so it, last December, here's an important part, last December, uh, the high court a higher court in England over overturned the lower court's decision, and then dis and said that yes, uh, he can be extradited to the United to the United States because uh, because the U.S. authorities have assured us that he will receive no harm that that Julian Assange will be treated humanely. So the U.S. authorities assured the British higher court that he would be treated humanely, and they're buying it for some reason and they're going to so the higher court overruled the lower court's decision to refuse the extradition to the United States and also the next thing that happened was in March the uh, <clears throat> the British Supreme Court has uh, overturned uh, so they rejected Assange's ability to appeal the court, you know, the, to appeal to to appeal this ruling in a lower court. So Assange doesn't have the ability to even appeal the higher court's decision in a lower court. The higher court overruled the previous lower court's decision to extradite him, and then uh, also uh, <clears throat> refute rejected his attempt to appeal in the lower court that ruling. So and. And in April, last month, a British judge finally approved, uh, formally approved the extradition to the United States. So, so in, those, in those steps, uh, in the last six months, we get to the point where uh, Julian Assange is facing extradition. He's, he's inches away from extradition, and it all depends on one person who, has to, who, is, who is required to authorize the extradition. So there's a woman, I believe, by uh, by the name of Pretty Patel. I think it's pronounced Pretty. Pretty Patel is uh, Home Secretary in the United Kingdom. Uh, she or he is uh, 
This is a position that Theresa May held before becoming Prime Minister. It's an important position, clearly, because this person holds the keys to whether or not Julian Assange will be extradited to the United States or not. And uh, so we'll see what happens, but this Patel person holds all the cards here. So it's gone through the court system. Julian Assange is out of options, and it basically depends on what this pretty Patel, the Home Secretary, what his or her ruling is. Uh, so let's... So it's it's important to realize that Julian Assange essentially did nothing did I mean did did, did basically nothing wrong I mean uh so this all stems back I remember I w I had just graduated high school uh when this had, when this happened I'm a 2010 graduate I was in college my freshman year when the story broke about WikiLeaks <clears throat> and their release of the the uh Collateral murder, I believe, is what the video was called. Collateral murder, which uh, he, Julian Assange, received this footage from uh, from Ch from Chelsea Manning, who was at that time Bradley Manning, uh, who was who worked for the U.S. Army, and and released this information to to uh, <clears throat> Julian Assange, this vi which included this video footage, and this video footage shows these. Uh, this the U.S. Air Force, and they're in like a uh, a Black Hawk helicopter or something, some kind of helicopter, and they see these six or eight men, who I've who two of which were Reuters journalists, and and they open fire on these men. <clears throat> they didn't see any weapons, no no weapons were authorized. They they and they and they gun them down. They they murder these six to eight men. Um, in this in this uh, street in, in a city uh, in Iraq and and then a van pulls up to a van pulls up to pick up some of the survivors which the van apparently had two children in it had several children in the van but the van picks up a, the people pick up a body in the van and put it in the van and the helicopter <clears throat> off operator was given authority to then uh, gun down the van too, and and most likely killed everybody in that van. Um, 